Welcome to today's show where we explain what World War I, the background of World War I, and we are happy to have Wang Jun and Wang Fushan as our guests today. So, can you explain the background of World War I in simple terms? Sure. So, World War I happened from the 1940s to 1918, and that was the huge the fight that the war in many countries. It starts because of the country's reasons, like the countries, the forming groups, uh, campaigns in the making weapons, and the wanting the more land. The war ended with the breaking up of big countries in the near and the changing the world's country map. So Wang Jun, how did this war change societies and cultures from your point of view? Probably political tensions worse, changed how countries deal with each other, and made quick progress in world technology. But it also changed societies and cultures, like making it more common for women to work outside work and starting new styles in culture and art. Thanks. So Wan Fusheng, what happened to world politics and countries from your point of view? After the war, the many new the countries were made and the old big the countries broke the apart. The most important thing was the 1919 the peace agreement that changed the country's border and starts the leader of the nations. Though it didn't to stop another war, the war is happening just the United Nations later on. Wang Jun, how did the war affect people and cultures from your point of view? Destroyed a lot and many people died leaving lasting sadness and changes in families. It made people think more about peace and working outside together in different countries. It also questioned old traditions and growing new ways of expressing culture. Wang Jun, how did the war affect people's daily lives and societal structures? World War I deeply affected people's lives. During and after the war, many countries experienced political turmoil and economic hardship. Uh, this led to a restructuring of social classes and accelerated urbanism and modernization processes. Uh, the war spurred the development of new technologies and medical advances, which initially applied on the battlefield, later improved the quality of life for civilians. So what about the impact on cultural and arts? The world had a significant impact on the art and the literature, giving the rights to the modern movement. The many the writers and the artists expressed their the reflections and the criticism of the world to their words. For example, the world, the poetry and the painting reading had the harsh reality of the battery and the direct the creation of the human nature. This empty war sentence and the introspection has a lasting effect on the culture of the 20th century. So as we strive to build a better world today, what are the lessons that we learn from World War I? World War I teaches us that complex international relations should be addressed through dialogue and cooperation, not conflict. It also highlights the importance of international organizations in promoting peace and security. Moreover, the history of the world reminds us to cherish peace, understand the root causes of conflicts, and promote mutual understanding through education and cultural exchange. Thank you Wang Fusheng and Wang Jun for your insightful contributions. Although World War I has been a century behind us, but its lessons remained relevant. And to build a better and peaceful world, we have to work together and cooperate together in order to achieve that. So thank you for your time and let's see you on the next episode. When we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one There are people dying Oh, when it's time to lend a hand to life The greatest gift of all We can go on Pretending day by day That someone 
Truth, you know, love is all we need. 